Halloween Racer for the Game Boy Color was released in 1999 in January. Now, what, January? For Halloween? Now, come on, whoever decided on that release date, in my humble opinion, wasn't too bright. Surely, if it's a Halloween racer, you want to release it around Halloween? You know what? Forget it. Don't worry. It's done now. Anyway, it's a racing game. The same sort of vein as Mario Kart, only with a Halloween theme. Hence the cunning title, I suppose. Now, as is usually the case with unheard of games that are clearly made on a budget, you want to go into them with a little bit of caution. However, you'll be pleased to find out that when you do turn the game on, the title screen starts off decent, and the music that plays is pretty good. It's the kind of music that you get on those old Halloween-y cartoons like Scooby-Doo, and to be honest, I lap that kind of shit up. I'm a sucker for Halloween-themed stuff. It's just something very nostalgic about it, and it made me pretty happy. Then you get into the game, expecting a host of crazy monsters like Dracula, Wolfman, Frankenstein's monster, and that's where you're pretty let down. To start with, there are only three characters to play as. A knight, which to me is not Halloween themed, a scarecrow, getting better, and a witch, yeah, that's more like it. Yes, you do unlock more characters as you progress through the game, but even these don't get hugely horrifically monstery, however they do do the job. Personally, I couldn't tell the difference between the characters I played as, they all seem to play the same, having the same speed and turning circles. This might just be me, but it was a bit of a shame, as in these kind of games it's nice to have a different class of racer, so you end up just choosing whichever character you like the look of the best. Gameplay itself is simple, with the Game Boy just having two buttons, you've got A to accelerate and B to brake. But it's an 8-bit racer, which do come in two varieties, one is the over-the-top RC Pro AM style, or the other is the third-person outrun style, where you can just about make out what's ahead of you and have to corner at the very last minute. This one is the latter, in case you hadn't noticed by looking at the footage. It's actually pretty well done. The graphics on the races is pretty good, you can tell what everything is meant to be, and you can see the enemy races, which by the way don't seem to be unlockable, which is kind of strange, but they are all identifiable as a mummy, a skeleton, a pumpkin, or whatever they may be. The courses themselves look fine, they all look pretty similar, with a slightly different backdrop. Standard fare really, but they are themed to something to do with Halloween, and are pretty enjoyable. The courses themselves aren't particularly varied though, while you're actually racing it's pretty hard to tell the difference between all of the tracks in the course. On the courses there are a few collectibles, you get a lightning bolt which gives you a boost, coins which give you points, and but watch out for the bastard logs and spider webs, because they will mess you up. Not that that has much of a consequence. This game is a very easy one you see. I've yet to lose a race in fact. Of course I am a veteran gamer who can take on any game and kick its ass, but I usually get into some trouble along the way. Not with Halloween races though. Every race, no matter how many times I hit obstacles, I still came first. To be fair, this is aimed at kids, so it's not too surprising, but still, it'd be nice to at least feel like I need to put a bit of effort in. Overall though, Halloween races is alright. I don't really have a lot of bad stuff to say about it, it's pretty easy, but it does look good and it plays well, surely that's the main thing. Unlocking all of the cups and characters adds a bit of replay value there as well, and that's not a bad thing now is it? In terms of Halloween racing games, there isn't really a lot out there that I know of anyway, and this game wouldn't be a bad one to play if you did want a bit of spooky racing action.